You know, I've seen some interesting things in Macon. Sitting at La Paria eating dinner and a cattle truck. It looked like a horse trailer, but it had cows in it. I love riding horses. I love the whole Western thing. However, the smell of cow poop. It made for an interesting smell as I was eating my tacos. Let's just put it down. Hey, what's up everybody, it's Kevin here. You know, I didn't do a lot today vlog worthy because it was Sunday, I had a late night last night. I took a nap, I did some laundry, played with the dog, didn't really do a lot. I went and ate dinner, grocery store, boring, I know. So I was trying to find something that I thought would be vlog worthy. And I've been talking about doing this. So I'm gonna show you what I carry in my DJ bag. This is every event I go to I have my DJ bag. Uh, you call it a tech bag, I guess, but this is the things that I carry for DJ. This is a new bag I got. I will link it down below because I don't remember exactly which one it was, but it's a uh, one of the Swiss Gear TSA friendly bags, meaning that you can go, if you go on a trip and you open it up and it's TSA friendly. I don't fly a lot, but you know, when I do make it out to Vegas for the DJ convention and I fly, this is gonna come in handy. It also gives me another spot to put stuff. Well, first off, you got a sunglasses loop. I won't use that that much. Very comfortably padded straps. Airflow back, it's got padding all back here. Um, I hung a little carabiner here. I have no clue what I'll put there, but maybe if I wanna try to hang the bag off a hook, that's what that's for. I have no idea what these two little hooks are for. I looked online, I've looked in the instruct, it doesn't tell what they're for. Um, it does have the thumb loops for adjusting, so you can put your finger in there and pull it to tighten them up or loosen it by grabbing the cam buckles. This outside pocket here, I have absolutely nothing in the mesh part, that's for water bottles. This zippered pocket, hard drives. This one is, uh, based basically for Mac. This one is my Windows DJ backup. I do have a Windows machine I use sometimes. That's all I carry in that pocket. Kevin, where's your cables? We're getting there. Outside pocket here, flashlight. You always need a flashlight in a dark environment. And, hey, there's my trailer key. I was looking for those earlier. This is a remote control for some of my up lights I have. Um, I just always keep an extra there in case they disappear out of the box. This pocket, wet wipes, um, you never know, a bride could get uh, lipstick on her dress, you could spill something on your shirt, whatever, your hands get dirty, wet wipes. This is first aid tape. What the first aid tape is for is in a ceremony, if I have to put the uh, countryman style microphone on a minister and or I do it sometimes at yoga and their ears are a little small, I'll use a little piece of tape and tape it to their, their cheek. To hold the mic in place it's clear believe it or not little first aid kit with band-aids in it i am forever cutting myself during setup it just happens so and it's happened with uh tarsha before too so it always helps to have band-aids that's all it's in that pocket our front pocket here where there's another carabiner that actually comes with it i don't know what i'm gonna put on that if anything but selfie stick this is one, I paid $23 for this on Amazon. I'll link it below if I remember to. You can put a uh, GoPro on here. You can flip it up. The reason I paid so much for one, this holds my six plus. So um, it will hold the six plus and it extends out pretty far. It's got a mirror on it. So if you wanna use your rear facing camera, you can kind of see yourself, but I haven't used that yet. It's also got the button for the shutter. So love that. This is a little bag I carry that's got uh, micro screwdrivers in it. If you ever need to swap out a hard drive, tighten up any small screws, this is just small micro screwdrivers. You just never know. Everything in here is almost, you'll never know. Microfiber cleaning cloth, it's great to clean my glasses with, or if I need to uh, 
take care of a um, computer screen, camera lens, anything like that. Cliff bar. You don't always get fed at events, so a cliff bar is a handy thing to have. I always carry at least one of those in there. All right, this pocket. It opens down pretty far. Tool bag. This has got, what do I carry in my tool bag? And we had to use this last night. Leatherman, no DJ, should be without some type of multi-tool. This is a Leatherman kick. I have several different ones, but this is the smaller one of the ones I have. And so it's got screwdrivers, pliers, wire cutters, knife, everything on it. Uh, be careful that you don't travel with that. Screwdriver, let's see. This is one of those all-in-one screwdrivers, so you can flip out to the different bits that you need or whatever else. C-wrench, crescent wrench, whatever you want to call it, these are helpful for when you are having to tighten down clamps on lighting. This is a really cool thing Tarsha got me for my birthday. It's called a Kelvin 36. It's got a hammer on it. It's got a tape measure. It's got, what else do we have on this thing? Um, a light it's not a very bright light and it looks like the battery's dead on it but there's a light on it um you pull this little lever here this pops up screwdriver bits um there's a wine corkscrew down in there people don't always have corkscrews you open it up and here's all your different bits it's got uh uh flat head star bits square bits torx bits phillips heads all that kind of stuff it's also got a level on it so i mean this thing has got so much stuff on it and it's very helpful to have. A little bulky, but I keep it in the bag. Okay. Next up, assorted stuff. These little bags are from Lowe's, by the way. These are great. Crochet hook. This is great for when you have to bustle a bride's dress. And yes, I will bustle a bride's dress at least once a month. You'd be surprised how many people don't know how to bustle a dress. So, this is helpful when you have hands this big to get those little loops around the buttons. Corkscrew. Remember I mentioned that the bartenders don't always have what they need? DJ comes to the rescue. These are some bottle openers I bought at Ikea for a dollar a piece. You brand them with your sticker with your logo of your company on it. I give this one to bartenders. If they don't have one, here, keep it. They will not forget that I did that. This opened up inside. That's not good. These are collar stays. Um, these are the things you put in your collar to make your collar lay down when you're wearing a, a tie. So, the majority of the events I do are weddings. So, that's why a lot of things I keep mentioning brides. That's why. Uh, here's a uh, wall charger for a phone, iPod, iPad, whatever. I picked this up. I don't even remember where. It was, uh, it was on clearance. It's a bike tool that has allen wrenches it's got a few sockets it's got screwdriver uh flat and phillips um i've used it i've needed those allen wrenches so that's always good to have a lot of this is in addition to what i carry in my truck in a tool bag okay um this is a six foot uh usb uh, cable, USB cable for my, I want to say it's A to B, isn't it? I think, I don't know. But this is for my controller. Always have a backup on that. Pin, Sharpie, Sharpie. Guess I can turn this, getting a, um, USB dongle for a Mac, MacBook Pro, which we'll get to in a second. All right, iPod cable. Never know. 10,000 milliamp iHome uh, battery pack. This is for phones or whatever else. All right, this is a dollar store uh, glasses case. And I'm gonna replace it with one of these because this zipper keeps popping loose. It keeps loosening up like that. It just did it. It's kind of a pain. So you have to get real funky with it to get it to unzip. And now it doesn't, there we go. You know, dollar store, what do I expect? What I carry in here is video dongles. So, I also carry my hard drive USB 3.0 cables. I have two of those. Oh, actually, that's not, that. That's uh, that'll charge a GoPro. Another HDMI and a VGA dongle. Gotta have all these things. 
Next compartment, power cable for my Mac, V-Moda headphones. Look at the amount of room in here. There's like, I could put a ton of stuff in there. This is where you're supposed to be able to put your iPod and snake your headphones through, but you know, we all use our phones pretty much these days. Love my V-Modas. These are the uh, M100s, I believe. Custom plates on the side. Um, and DJ Flint uses the same thing. Here is the best purchase I've made in the world. This is an upgrade. These are $20 on Amazon. I will link. These are extra padded ear cups. They're thicker, probably twice as thick as the regular, as the ones that come stock on them. And they're comfortable. I've watched an entire movie wearing them, and my head, head never once got like sore, tired. My ears didn't get tired. So I would suggest if you have the V-Modas, click that link and upgrade to the uh, the more padded ear cups. Your ears will thank you. Last but not least, a little side open here, side zipper, 17 inch MacBook Pro. I have pimped this thing out like you wouldn't believe. Uh, it's an early 2011 i7 processor, quad core. It's got, I've upgraded the hard drive to a one terabyte. I'm gonna be upgrading it to a one terabyte SSD as soon as I can afford one. And it'll make it run so much faster. I had a video on here, I DJ videos on here, I DJ, this is my daily driver as well. I do my emails, I do everything on here. Some of you are going, oh man, you don't wanna get that machine on the internet. I haven't had a problem. Um, if I do, I have backup. Um, the other thing I did is I pulled out the CD-ROM and I put in a two terabyte ex uh, extra hard drive that's got a lot of my videos on it uh, in addition to my external video hard drive. Um, the other thing I did, I upgrade, maxed out the RAM, 16 gigs of RAM. So this thing is a workhorse and it's, it flies. You have to be careful. I had an issue with this a couple years ago. I opened it not from the center. I didn't open it here. I opened it from the corner. And when I did, I heard a very faint tick and it spider webbed the screen. I didn't fix it for about two years. And then by the time I could fix it, it was no longer $700 to fix it. It was $1,500 to fix it. Um, the thing is though, they replaced the top and bottom. They put in a new battery. They, uh, you kind of have to put it back to stock when you send it back to Apple, but they gave me a new Ram. They replaced the motherboard. They did everything to it. It was like getting a brand spanking new computer for less than the cost of a new MacBook Pro that you can't do anything to. You can't change your hard drive. You can't max out your memory. You can't do anything to the new 15 inch MacBook Pros. And I'm not saying that they're bad. I know people that use them. I'm gonna keep this one as long as it will run. So there you have it. That's what I carry in my DJ bag. If you think of something I need to add, put in a comment down below. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more things like this, give it a like. Um, I've got some other headphones and things I wanna talk about. Actually, these are the headphones I used to use, and these are my backup headphones. These are the Skull Candy Aviators. I love these. I like my V-Modas, don't get me wrong. I love these. To me, they are classy looking. They have the black piano finish. They sound good. They look good in a professional environment of a wedding. I've worn them in school dances, I've worn them at clubs, I've worn them all over. But I bought these at Goodwill half price, they were $75. And I checked them, there was absolutely nothing wrong with them. They fold up into this case, um, like so. And the other nice thing is the cable's got a mic in it, so I can use it for, I use it for client phone calls, things like that. So. Those are the other headphones. I know the guy that won the uh, earbuds was asking me about these and I had mentioned how I, how I like the Skull Candy. So these are the other ones. There's plenty of room of it for them in the bag, um, but I don't want to carry too much because then it just gets heavy. But I, I just got this bag. I paid $60 for it and I picked it up at Marshall's. I think they're around 60 on Amazon. Again, I will link it to uh, in the description and anything else that I, that I have here that I can find on Amazon. I will link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you like it, thumbs up. 
and hit the subscribe button. Um, you know, I, like I said, I don't do a lot uh, on Sundays in the daily life of DJ and Dad. Uh, especially if Hayden's not here. He's going to be with his mom the next couple of days. But um, Tuesday, we're going to the fair and we're going to see Blues Traveler. And I can't wait for that. I love me some Blues Traveler. And I love the fair. So I'll make sure we have the camera when we go do that. But I'm going to let you go for now. Um, tune into tomorrow's vlog. Thanks for watching. Work with me. Uh oh, did I break it last night? <gasps> Don't tell Tarsha. I may have broke this. Hang on, it's just bent. Uh oh. Oh boy, we got an issue. Ooh, I'm gonna slice my hand open. That's good. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Okay.